We're out in Atlanta. It is a very uh, just kind of wicked area. There's a lot of witchcraft, a lot of spirituality type stuff, a lot of idolatry. So we're coming out to spread the gospel, spread the truth, spread the love of Jesus Christ to those ears that'll hear it. We want to just go and spread truth, go and spread love, which is what the gospel is all about. Perfect mix of grace and truth. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get it. All right, so I'm here with Vic Lens. All right, so I ran here to get to him, but I'm curious, bro. I hear you talk about a lot about like positivity. Like, where do you think we go when we pass away? Like, what happens when we die? Man, I hope we go to heaven, man. Mm -hmm. That's what I hope. Yeah. Cool, cool. So, like, what if I was dying right now, and I'm like, like, how would I get there? What would you say? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure. It's a, that's a. Like, if I like got stabbed, I'm like, bro, I'm scared. What do I do? What would you say? I would lean on God. I mean, bro, I got faith in God, so whatever whatever he's gonna do with my body after that is is on him cool and so like where do you where do you get faith in god from when you grow up did you have an encounter in your life why do you have faith in him Man, i got faith in him because i think he led me in every direction i had to go into you know every everything that i had to do always came with a message from him mm -hmm. and the clearest message in my life i ever had from god was to pick up clippers and it was i, I don't even i don't know exactly when i heard it but it, it felt like it was word for word it was the first time i heard some word for word he told me if i if i, if I took barbara in serious uh, it would open doors for me. So I really found my personal relationship with God around my senior year of high school, yeah. coming into like, you know, 16, 17 years old. Okay, cool, cool. And it's like, there's a lot of gods out here nowadays. What, what, what's your, who's your God? Man, God is subjected to the person that believes okay. in it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whoever God is to you is, is, is enough. So I just believe in somebody believing in a higher power for whatever that is. Yeah. I, I actually used to be an atheist. Do you mind if I share a quick story with you? Yeah, you, go, you can for sure. Cool. So I was an atheist till the point where, like, I would debate people, actually. Like, I would tell them God's not real until I had a crazy encounter myself to where, like, I wasn't high, I wasn't drunk, like, nothing. And I felt the presence of God so strong after I let someone simply just pray for me to see the truth, whether I wanted to believe it or not. And so when they prayed for me, I felt this fresh wind in my body. I was scared. And I was like, dang, does that mean I'm going to hell? But then I learned the gospel, how Jesus lived that perfect life. And that meant I didn't have to live that perfect life. He did it all for me. All of his works paid for my debt. And we all built up this debt. But through Jesus, once we put our faith in him and only him, that he is the way to heaven, he completes us. We're perfect. We're holy. We're righteous. Not because of us. Because we look at ourselves and we see sin a lot in our life, right? Like we see we mess up a lot. We're not perfect by our sight. But when we walk by faith, we can know that through him it's righteousness. Through him it's holy. Through him it's perfection. And through him it's glory. We give him glory. Does that make sense? For sure. Amen. For sure. Amen. Amen. Well, that's, I appreciate that word. Yeah, for sure. That's all I really wanted to leave you with. Is there anything that you might need prayer for in your life? Not pray before I came out here. Cool. Cool. But bro. yeah, anything, bro. Whatever you Amen. feel is on your heart. Let's pray real quick. God, thank you for letting me meet Vic today. I'm so glad that uh, he has faith in you. And I just pray you can increase any seed in his in his uh, vessel that just needs to be increased, God. I pray that you give him the ability to understand everything you did for him in full and bless him. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Good thank day, you, bro. Good day to wear amen. This shirt. Hey. Good day to wear this shirt. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, bro. I appreciate it a lot. What is up, guys? I hope you enjoyed that video. I just wanted to close this thing out by addressing some things that I saw in the comments when I posted this on Instagram and TikTok. So a lot of people wanted to talk more about how Vic didn't immediately say that Jesus was his God. When I asked him, I said, there's a lot of gods, right? Who is your God? Uh, he didn't automatically say Jesus, which I thought about that too when I was in the interview. But what came to mind is how it's not our job to tell people what to do and how to do it and what they're doing wrong. That's not our job. Our job is to just preach, just preach the gospel, just tell them the good news. If they're not bringing up Jesus, you bring up Jesus. I um, wanted to address that because I saw a lot of people kind of making some comments about that and saying how, oh, he's not a real Christian because he didn't bring up Jesus. And we have to remember, we cannot judge anyone. Everything is by the grace of God. Did he know everything that Jesus did for him? Probably not, which is why we are there. That's why the Bible says, how will they hear without a preacher? So I definitely just wanted to preach the real gospel to him, that Jesus perfected him, that Jesus made him righteous, 
whether he looks at himself and thinks he's not righteous or not, Jesus says he is righteous. So it's up to him to believe in that. That message might throw some of you guys off too. So I want to clarify why I am calling people perfect because Jesus calls them perfect. Hebrews 10, 14, it says, For by one offering he has perfected forever them that are sanctified. And that that is a heavy message to accept. It takes a lot of faith to say, wow, I'm perfect. It doesn't take a lot of faith to say, yeah, you know, I sin every day. I'm a sinner. Yeah, I, I, I sin. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner every day. Yeah, I sin. That does not take any faith to say. That is easily seen by your sight. Your sight can definitely confirm, yeah, bro, you sin every day. You're a sinner. You're a wicked sinner. You sin every day. Look at you. That is easy. That is easy to say. It takes faith to look at the word of God, look at yourself, know how much you mess up, you fall short, and say you are perfect and say you are righteous. Not because of anything you did, because of what Jesus did. So that is what takes true faith. That is what walking by faith looks like. Turning away your thoughts, telling you you're some sinner, telling you you're not worthy, telling you you're this and that, it takes turning away your mind, turning your, your, your way of thinking off, and looking at the Word of God and putting the Word of God above your thoughts. So that is what I wanted to reiterate to Vic because I don't know if he's ever heard that because a lot of people really don't preach that message. They say, do better, do better, do better. You have to do better. Stop sinning like that. Stop sinning like that. Which is good advice. It's good advice because transgressing the law only does lead to darkness. The law is not a bad thing, but it is a curse. And we cannot present a curse to God. We cannot present our cursed earnings to God because God only wants us to present Jesus to him. Jesus is the only thing God can accept. Not thing, by the way, but the only thing sacrifice that God accepts. God does not accept your sacrifices of doing the law good because you break the law every single day. So I wanted to bring that real that real good news to Vic because that is good news. And a lot of people might say, well, you're saying that we're sanctified forever, we're perfect forever, so I can just sin however I want? That's not at all what I'm saying. Because if you think that you can now sin however you want, you think you have a license to sin now, then that means you didn't understand what you were saved from. That means you don't understand the value of what Jesus did. That means you thought you were good. You weren't struggling in sin. You weren't feeling like you were drowning in your sin. Imagine that you were drowning in a lake or something, and there's a lifeguard that tries to give you a life vest. But, you know, every, every, every 10 seconds, you're able to kick yourself up and, and get some air. So every 10 seconds, you're like, okay, I'm breathing. But then you start drowning again. But you look at the person next to you and you realize, dang, they're not getting any air at all. At least I can kick myself up and breathe. You think you're good. You think you don't need saving. So that's what we're doing when we're saying, oh, oh, I can sin however I want. You already thought you were good. You already thought you were saving yourself. But once you realize, dang, I have a life vest. I can breathe now. Now... The person that gave you the life vest is like, here's another life vest. Go give it to them. And that's what we're doing as the body of Christ. That's what we're doing as Christians. We are giving people the life vest, which is Jesus Christ. So if you're receiving that life vest and going, what do you mean? I Can't I go swim however I want now? Can't I just go swim however I want? That is what you are doing if you accept this gospel, this good news, and think you can just do whatever you want. You don't understand the value, which I believe means you didn't actually receive it. Because if you receive that good news, that gospel, it only brings gratefulness. It only brings joy. It only brings you a way out. A way out from denying yourself and accepting the word of God, which says you are perfect forever. So that's the message I want to give to you guys and I wanted to give to Vic. I hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you in the next one.